All right, guys, we're back again with another adventure for you today. I wanted to be showing you about PC Manager. Microsoft put this out there so you can basically trust it for Windows. You don't have to worry about installing it third party. And this can also help kind of boost your PC, clean it up a little. It isn't gonna fix everything, but if you're just like a person that's really into maintenance and wanna make sure their computer's running good, this is like a quick all-in-one tool that Microsoft has from the Microsoft Store that you can install on your computer and boost a little bit of that PC and get to your settings faster. Let's get into that video. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up the Microsoft Store. We'll open up the Windows Store. And we'll type in PC. Oh, there it is. PC Manager or Microsoft Manager, PC Manager. You click it, you install the app. I've already installed it. Now, with this app, of course, too, you can make it if you want it on the taskbar. You can pin to taskbar if you want it pinned here, just click access, or you can make it pin it to start if you want to. So all you do is you would click on it, and there you go. Right here, we can say boost. We got memory usage in real time, temporary files. You can just say, hey, boost. It's gonna do a little, little rocket ship here and kind of clean it up, clear up that temporary. Uh, you know, obviously it used a little memory when it was doing that, but that's totally fine. Uh, and it's kind of just a little booster, it clears out the old files, temporary files. It can be released, so you just clears them out. Then we got the processes. So if anything's running on your computer, kind of like Task Manager itself, you can just hit end right here for all the tasks that are running. So terminate application process to speed up your computer. So these are actual things that are running and you can see kind of how much uh, megabytes or what they're doing. You can just like, nope, bye bye, and close it out. I'm using XSplit so you can see 196.7 megabytes. It's going up memory usage. You can just kind of stop the processes, which is cool. We can go back, we can do health check. So I'm just gonna looking for any issues. We got some temporary files and I can look up and select these two if I wanted to clear out some of that or disable. We can just hit, okay, boom. No health check completed, actions, you know, temporary files. We kind of just got get rid of temporary files again. Let's see here, we got uh, startup. So these are the apps that you have on your computer that are for startup. So if you don't want, your, when you type in your password for your computer or your computer boots up, waiting for a while because there might be a lot of processes that are you know happening in the background that can slow down the full startup until, I mean, usually these days your computer's quick as heck anyway, so you really don't see it. But you have an older computer, it can make a huge difference. I don't care if I'm not using it, why should it be running in the first place is what I say. So turn it off if you don't need it to be running. Uh, hit back again. Then we got uh, cleanup. So we can clean up the disk. So it's gonna be scanning the disk, the driver, kind of like, you know, clean out old uh, file entries, registry, Windows updates and stuff like that. So like here's Windows update clean. We can kind of just see where it is. You can even open it up and where its location is and it will kind of show you where it is too. Pretty dang cool. Um, we're just gonna clean it up. Clean it up, done, perfect. It's just, it's just, this thing is just freaking cool. And then you can click it again. I'm just gonna click it again. I just wanna make sure. Uh, I don't think I opened it all. Cause it can't clear out everything of these, of all these details. And some of these things, it needs it to run. Basically it's clearing out like replacement ones that have been done. So if you have updates and they're older updates, it kind of just clears it. I've already used the software from before cause before I use it, you know, I gotta test it on myself first before you guys give you guys a little update or anything on it. And then we got, let's go back again. And that's about in this first page here. Now we got protection. So you can kind of get to the virus scan quick if you just want to scan now. You got the Windows updates if available. It'll show you if there's any updates available. Uh, default browser basically just takes you to the defaults quick. It's just the defaults page. You just should just say app defaults. That's what it really should say because it doesn't actually take you to the browser. I'd still have to go search and then go, oh, here's the browser. Let me set it as the default still. So it, they just named that wrong. Uh, task uh, bar repair, so you can do task bar repair, enable search box task bar, enable widget task bar repair. So you just have problems with your task bar acting weird, you can fix it too. Restore default apps, so if there's anything that you uninstalled, if we click on it, 
Uh, PDF, you can just like, if you have your PDF, your, what you're using with like Chrome, see it says I'm using Chrome, my default Office app uh, that I use for Office. So if you change things, you mess things up, you can kind of fix that here. And then you can kind of select default applications too. Same thing again, takes you to defaults. They don't really need, that's like a double page whammy right there, but it's just some things are quicker to easy. Uh, pop-up management, enable or disable pop-up management. That's pretty cool too. Then we got the storage stuff. Clean disk cleanup, you know, deep clean. So you can do deep clean, just scanning your disk. Let's see, scanning devices for drivers. Same thing was kind of on that page before, it just kind of goes in depth and stuff like this was skipped and you can see like why, some files are in use, yeah, that's why. That's why you can't do it all, but you can kind of figure it out. Then storage sense brings you to the storage page. So this is where the windows can automatically remove files for you that you're not using just to help clean up your computer. It's Sometimes it's on by default, but depending on certain, you know, companies or pre-builds you get, sometimes it's not enabled by default. And this can kind of, some people don't even want this, so you might want to turn this off. So it'll um, store data, so let's say you're doing some troubleshooting or something and you kind of want to look up the log, sometimes this cleans it up or cleans out files that you're not using. So sometimes some people want this, I don't need it, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, what else? We got the apps. Oh yeah, process manage. You can go to the, there's all just that same apps thing. So basically, this page up here, the home, is just a quick place to get to all these. Basically, that's all it is. These might have a little different other stuff. Like Microsoft Store takes me into the store, brings up the store. That's all it is. Uh, and then manage the apps, like I was saying. Installed apps. You can uninstall your apps, as in programs. Then we got a toolbox, we got the screenshots, and you can add other links and stuff for web pages if you want to hear. MSN's by default. You can either remove this and just add, like, let's just say, oops, doing it too fast. There we go, hit add, boom, and now we get Google. If we click on it, boom, it's gonna open up Google Chrome, but it's only gonna do it on Edge, so you gotta worry about that too. It's, this is like, I love Edge kind of a thing. Uh, but I wouldn't even use this anyway, so I'll just delete it all because I'm never going to use those links. I don't need links. I'll have favorites on my web browsers if I do. Uh, then we got the settings. You can automatically have this start up. So Smart Boost PC Manager will automatically boost your PC when high usage of RAM or there are one gig of temporary files. So every time you have one gig of temporary files on your RAM and everything, it'll basically just kind of like clear it out and boost it up. So you can have that set to automatically do that. Uh, Start PC Manager automatically when it starts. You can start that here too. So yeah, this thing is just, it's pretty cool. It's a little handy tool. I'm not gonna say it's the, the solve all problems thing, but if you want a little boost or just clear out some RAM and stuff and get your computer a little up there and running, this is a great tool for it. I would say this is pretty cool and that's cool that Microsoft made this. Am I a Microsoft fanboy? No, and yes, I, they piss me off about a lot of stuff, but I also love a lot of stuff. So um, yeah, it would be nice if my new network card that I bought, my SFP Plus network card and they, in Windows 11, you can't do aggregation anymore. No, you need the server one. Oh, thanks Microsoft. Yeah, that pissed me off. Yeah, but you know what? Maybe they'll fix it or eventually there'll be a workaround for it. But yeah, I wanted 20 gig connection on my computer, not just 10 gig, like gosh darn it, I wanted 20 gig and now you can't do that right now because it only can do 25 gig, but I don't want to buy 25 gig Nick because they're way more expensive. I'd rather run two cables, but yeah, you know, you, you, you lose some and you win some, you know? But hey, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos and hey, the most important thing is that I always say, I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out. I'll catch you in the next video.